It appears my IBM 5150 was suffering from a bit of bit rot in the ROMs. Bit rot in the ROMs, I mean. Because look! Oh yeah, the RAM error is still there. But... Good old discussing it with Ash. There's the old ROM chips. Yes, I replaced every single one with a board I got off eBay and it arrived today. Oh, this is so much more fun than boring ass business uni work, but boring ass business uni work needs to be done, so that'll be what I'll be doing through the night tonight. But yay! Let's, let's, let's type something on the keyboard. Yay! Look at that keyboard work! I wish Stephen's keyboard worked. Ah, oh, focus don't work though. Let's try that again. Sorry for the shaky cam, but. Sex on a stick. Let's reboot it and see what it does. Sorry for any CRT flicker. I don't think the IBM's too bad for CRT flicker. There's our RAM error, 1054201. Does that, no ROM error. Now, will it boot into basic? Yes, it will. Excellent. We are another stage closer to getting this working. Now, while you're all watching, I hope that's green. Hang on, let's use... Oh, someone's tried to call me. Who tried to call me? Ah, oh, anyhow, I'll message you back. You look good, you can see the display good enough. While I'm back, I brought these. Discs! Discs, 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 discs. Let's see if we can get it to boot in. Set up, start up. In the drive you go. Boot off. On. Oh, Ash is commenting. Let's respond. It's reading the disc. It stopped reading the disc. Our disc drive may still be rooted. I might try swapping it with the other disc drive, actually, seeing if it does that, but... That, if you ask me, is a win. I'll swap these drives around, make sure that, that this one matches the config of this one, and hopefully that'll work, and then we'll work on restoring the floppy drives, because good luck buying them. But we are able to boot into BASIC, which is good. So that is progress, and that makes me very happy. Man, who'd have thought? Part God knows what? We've made progress. Yes. Beware for bit rot on the original ROMs. And I think in this case, it wasn't actually the startup BIOS bit rot, but the basic ROMs are bit rotted, so something to keep in mind. Always try and source spare motherboards. Even though this is from a the spare motherboard was from a 64K to 256K instead of a 16 to 64. Thanks for watching. Yay! My computer is a lot to say. I live. Now I will kill you all. <laughs> yes, you will, IBM. Yes, you will. And yes, that flicker is actually happening in for me as well, so I might put an epilepsy warning at the beginning of this video if I remember. Yes, that keyboard is sex on a stick. I am so happy.